OK, here we go. Um, what I have is sine of 30 degrees equals 1 half. And the tangent of 30 degrees equals square root of 3 over 2. So we look at this problem, and you know we want to think about, I don't even know what I want to figure out. Oh, yeah, I want to figure out what is the cosine of 30 degrees. Now, remember, when other problems, what we've talked about so far is looking at reciprocal identities, seeing if we could use the reciprocal. And then also, uh, we also looked at co-function identities. Well, given my information, to help us evaluate for cosine of 30 degrees, none of those are going to work for us. So I need to think about how else is sine and cosine um, related. So what I want to do is I want to actually go back to kind of talk about when we are dealing with um, when we are dealing with the unit circle. We said that the sine of an angle for any angle represented the y coordinate of that angle. We also said the cosine, and this is for the unit circle. Remember, the cosine of an angle um, represented the x coordinate of that point on the unit circle. The tangent of an angle, or for any point on the unit circle, represent the y over the x. So since sine is, represents y and cosine represents x, tangent is y over x, we also talked about our, now we've looked at the Pythagorean, or um, the identity that says that the tangent of any angle is represented by the sine of that angle over the cosine of your angle. So this is another one of our identities that we have to make sure we understand. So therefore, do I have two of these um, solutions? Yeah, I know what sine of 30 degrees, and I know what tangent of, uh, tangent of 30 degrees is. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to replace and then solve for the cosine of 30 degrees. So the tangent is square root of 3 over 2 equals the sine, which is 1 half, divided by cosine of theta. So now i got this lovely little equation that i got to solve for theta, or solve for cosine. So remember, whenever you have something on the bottom, you can multiply by the reciprocal or multiply by that denominator to get it off the bottom. So I'm going to multiply by cosine of theta on both sides. Over here, we can say they divide out to 1. So I'm left with cosine of theta times square root of 3 over 2 equals 1 half. Now to solve for cosine of theta, I need to divide by the square root of 3 over 2. And then, then again, this divides out to 1. So I have cosine of theta equals 1 half divided by square root of 3 divided by 2. Now remember, when dealing with these like double fractions, to get square root of 3 off the 2, we have to multiply by the reciprocal. Or to divide out fractions, the same thing as like multiplying by the reciprocal, right? So I could have 1 half times 2 over radical 3. My 2's are going to divide into 1. So I'm left with 1 over square root of 3. Rationalize the denominator. I'm left with square root of 3 over 3. So um, I don't even know if you guys can even, yeah, I kind of went over rough. So let's do this again. Let me show you the math here, because I know I kind of went off. So times 1 half times 2 over radical 3. Those divide out, so I'm left with 1 over radical 3. Rationalize the denominator, and I'm left with square root of 3 over 3. So that is how, when given the sine and tangent of an angle, you can figure out the cosine. I hope it helped. Let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe as always. Thanks.